Kathleen Harshberger, and this is week four of Mary's journey. We pick up the story as Mary and Mrs. Bingaman are fleeing for their lives after escaping the salt licks of Big Bone Lick, Kentucky. The terrified women are running for their lives. They have to constantly look out for and evade the Shawnee scouts that have been sent out to find and capture them. Miraculously, the two women find a horse with a bell hanging around its neck, which they gratefully ride. Unfortunately, the poor creature drowns as they attempt one of their many river crossings. They are able to save the bell, but lose their precious hatchet in the process. This drives Mrs. Bingaman totally crazy with anger. As Mary dragged Mrs. Bingaman along, the old Dutch woman becomes increasingly hostile and even more difficult to deal with. And as their hardships intensify, so does Mrs. Bingaman's complaints and harangues. Exhaustion, hunger, exposure, and eventually the bitter weather becomes their constant companions. Pressures are building up with every step of the way. The nights become increasingly cold. Their torn, pitiful garments supply no warmth by now, and at night they sleep with covered, covered with branches and leaves. Foraging for food becomes increasingly difficult. It is now into November, November with its bitter cold nights, November with an earth that has gone dead for the winter, leaving little or no berries or wild herbs to eat. November when Mary and Mrs. Bingaman are literally starving to death. In Mary's account to her son John of her journey, she related that Mrs. Bingaman went completely out of her head with hunger. She hatched a plot to kill Mary and eat her. Can you imagine? The two women fight. Mrs. Bingaman is larger and her strength is increased by her fury and her determination to kill Mary. Mary manages to escape Mrs. Bingham's ferocious attack and flees. She finds an old canoe and manages to paddle it to the other side of the river. And she ignores Mrs. Bingham's piteous cry for help and her pleas for forgiveness. Mary is weakened and alone, but she is trusting in God and she is determined to continue her journey. She does not know that her biggest, most dangerous challenge lies ahead. We'll catch up again with Mary next week. Oh, and have you marked your calendars for the Mary Draper and Inglis Festival at the end of the month? <laughs>